<laughs> I did it. I, I found the secret. What's up, friends? All right, here's the deal. Painting non-metallic metals can be a pain in the butt. However, there are some things we can take from that style, apply them to true metallic painting, and we can get a result I think you're going to be surprised about. All right, first thing we need to do is we need to take our metallic paint and dull it down. I know that sounds a bit ridiculous and kind of counterproductive based on what we want metallics to achieve, but go with me here for a second. You see, metallic paints have a certain amount of metal pigments in them. By adding in regular acrylic paint, we are diluting how much metallic pigments are in the paint while creating a darker color. This means that our final base coat will still have a bit of shine to it, but not nearly as much as the, it would otherwise. By the way, I'm using just one metallic paint for this whole project, and that would be Vallejo Metal Color Aluminum. I really like these paints, and I think you'll learn that you do not need to have a wide variety of silvers, golds, coppers, whatever, when painting with metallic. So now we're going to go in and highlight with pure aluminum. And we're just going to hit those points where the sun or whatever light source that it's coming from um, would naturally hit our object. For us, and for most miniatures, that means from above. So we are going to paint in all of those highlights. If you're not sure where to place the silver, just put your mini under your hobby lamp and take a look. Where did the natural highlights from that light fall? If it's directly above, you'll be able to see, and you can see in some of my shots here, I did just that, and I just paint lines. At this point in making these highlights, we are not concerned with making sure we get blended edges or anything like that, right? This painting process is supposed to be made fast. Why are you cats in here now? You little shitheads. Why are you in here? I'm not feeding you. All right, so a lot of miniature painters do this thing called filtering, where they take a really, really thin down color through an airbrush, and they hit a whole surface with it. And that's kind of what we're doing here. I've taken a dark sea blue, one of the colors we mixed to make our base coat, and it's very, very thin. We're gonna spray this basically on almost all of the armor pieces. You don't have to be extremely exact or anything. All right, now let's build some really deep shadows and help smooth those transitions a bit more. I mixed a little black and a little dark sea blue together and made them fairly thin. And what I'm doing is I'm going over my darkest parts of the armor, as well as those transitions between our silver highlights and our base colors. And we're gonna try to smooth those out. Don't spend a ton of time on this. Don't overthink it. Just where your eye is telling you, I see a harsh line, it shouldn't be there. Just throw a swipe there. So you'll notice I'll boop my finger uh, over the mini every once in a while. And the reason why is I'm trying to fix a mistake. So sometimes if you see you've made a mistake, you can rub your finger over it really quick and the paint's still wet and it just erases. Uh, other times it completely screws it up and paint goes everywhere it should. Do 
Do you need a tiny brush for panel lining and doing little scratches? Well, don't buy it, make it. Take any thin little old synthetic brush and you take a razor blade and you push that razor blade right where the ferrule meets your bristles and you kind of rotate the brush in one hand while holding the razor in the other. You cut away all the outside bristles until there's only about five or six left. Boom, you got a liner brush. All right, so here is the key to this whole scheme. It's dealing with these scratches. I take my tiny, tiny brush, and luckily this Vallejo metal color is super thin, and so it doesn't get dried on the tip of this brush very fast. I'm just scratching around wherever feels natural, you know? I try to focus in and around my highlight areas because we've dealt those down with the dark sea blue glaze. We are going to now bring back some brightest scratches. Sometimes on the edges, I'll hit a couple of the edges as well where the light would catch. While we have our baby brush out, we are going to start panel lining. Everyone's favorite part of miniature painting. But I tell you, with this tiny brush and black ink, it's not that difficult. Why I like black ink is because it's very thin and still very potent. So if you thin down black acrylic paint, it's gonna lose its potency. You're gonna panel line and it's not gonna be dark enough. This stuff will stay dark. It being super thin means it doesn't dry on my tiny brush and it flows off the edge nicely. So there it is. That is all it takes to do these metallics. Let's just crank out the rest of this mini. You may notice I'm using a lot of the same colors in multiple portions of the model for this paint job. And I do that often, and here's why. One, the paint's already on my palette, and I'm lazy. Two, when you mix with colors that you've already used somewhere else in the model, you're actually bringing things together. They feel more like they live in the same world, that there are some portions of those colors in other colors. They're not dominant, but there's just a hint of them there and it ties the whole model together. So let's make our lives more difficult here and let's try something known as loaded brush. In loaded brush, I'm putting a thin down dark sea blue into my brush and I'm taking most of it off of the paper towel. That dark sea blue is a pretty thin consistency. And then I'm taking the tip of my brush and I'm just booping it into my heavy body acrylic titanium white. Now I place in a line the brightest portion of my model where I want that highlight and then I scratchy scratchy back and forth until I get the blend that I'm looking for. It's a great technique and if you pull it off you will be amazed how quickly you can have awesome blends. 
But while you're learning, most of the time, it'll look like butts. That's okay though, that's part of the process. All right, our model is almost entirely in cool color, so let's use a warm color to pop the eyes. Just pull the brush towards you with that red color and hit those slits. And since that heavy body white is already on our palette, we're just gonna dot that lens. Dot it. Leather bits, I'm just grabbing whatever browns I can see, a dark one and a mid-tone one, and I'm working out from dark to light. With small details like this, I find that working dark to light is usually pretty easy and quick. I add some of that mid-tone in my dark color as I'm working up, and then I'm gonna take that white that's already on my palette to get the highest highlights and use some scratchy motions to make sure that it looks like leather, kind of, maybe. Same deal with this parchment. This is actually not a specific color. This is whatever neutrals I had on my palette that I mixed together and made this color and just added more white, made some scratchy highlights and went to kind of like an, uh, a bright ivory by the end. And for this waxy seal, I use Sanguine Base from P3. Because the seal is made of wax, it's got a very reflective surface. So it's okay to go to little dots of almost pure white. Purity seal. Purity seal. That's what it's called. So for the base, he's standing on some panels. Um, and so I just slapped some rusty colors on there, wet blended those together. Doesn't need to look great. This is a base. And then I just kind of went around and threw some neutral tones on the grit and gravel on the ground. Now I wanted a little bit of an accent color on the base so it's not completely boring, but I didn't want to go super bright. I just thinned down some blue ink, just threw that in the recesses of the dirt and uh, let it go. Sometimes when I do this with ink on bases, it looks great and sometimes it looks like ass. Final highlights, throw some lighter colors around there and take pure aluminum and just dot some select points on that rusty metal on the ground and the eye will tell you, oh, that was metal, huh. That's it, simple, metallics, painting, miniatures, words, subscribe, unicorns, friendship, pickles, like, Comment down below, my cat smells. Oh, oh, oh. I can smell the colors. I smell them. Shiny. I hope you liked it.